Hey, what's going on guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. So we have some pretty substantial news here. Hardware 4 is finally coming and that's the most exciting news ever because FSD beta has been out for a while and you guys definitely can see that there are some issues that cannot be resolved purely by software. Now we know the software team at Tesla is just so amazing. They've overcame so many things. However, nothing defeats hardware. If you can't see across the street, you really just can't see across the street. All right, so green the only the hacker the guy that pretty much finds out everything in the source for Tesla's he is the first one to pretty much know about it other than the Elon team themselves but here we have our first look at 10.11 and that is the source code pointing to the hardware 4 so just to backtrack a little bit FSD 10.11 has just released roughly about two days ago and this is when the source inside shows hints of FSD uh, hardware 4.0 now definitely when you guys think of FSD FSD, you think of full self-driving. Now this was promised pretty much in Hardware 2, Hardware 2.5, and then Hardware 3. And I'm um, somewhere along the way, I think FSD changed to um, Hardware or Feature Complete. FSD essentially stands for full self-driving. However, to Tesla, there are certain definitions of FSD. There is Summon, there is FSD in the city, and there's FSD on the highway. And all of this is bundled inside the FSD Feature Complete suite, which means that it's not essentially Feature Complete complete yet. Everything is still in beta right now, but you do get a suite of uh, software that enables a lot of different features of the car. So all of this can be pretty confusing, uh, but what this means overall with hardware 4 is uh, that Tesla is going to be adding some new sensors, hopefully not just uh, the integration of uh, more RAM and more memory. I think they are pretty much the same thing, RAM and memory, but uh, uh, more just everything, processing power. This is not what's coming from hardware 2 to hardware 3. This is more of uh, a bigger leap in just the hardware section itself. Now, just like I mentioned, Green the Only also confirmed this on Twitter himself. He says that this is not just a faster RAM, faster memory. This is gonna be a lot more than that. So you're likely gonna be seeing new sensors. Um, when I speak of sensors, I'm talking about cameras. This is likely gonna be put right at the front of the car, maybe at the back of the car for uh, the removal of the radar. Now since Teslas don't rely on radar or LiDAR, uh, they will be using more cameras. So definitely there's going to be a lot more room to add cameras there. There are cars out there that aren't even as close to the FSD beta right now uh, from different companies that have a bunch more cameras alone, not to even mention all the other types of sensors that they have on board. So uh, in this regard, Tesla is falling behind and hopefully hardware 4 is going to be added to that. So you guys probably have two questions. One is which car is going to get it first. That's probably going to be the Model S and Green the Only, he also speculated that Model S is going to be the right one. He replied to someone else saying that uh, it's not going to be the Cybertruck because the Cybertruck is delayed until 2023. Uh, that means that the Model S is going to be their flagship car and that's probably going to get it before anything else and likely it's going to trickle down to the Model X, then Model Y, and then Model 3 as a mass production car. All right, and your number one question, just like myself, is if there's going to be a retrofit. Um, I personally don't think there's going to be a retrofit this time around. Now, unlike hardware 2 to hardware 3, there's going to be a more significant update here. You're going to be adding new sensors to the front bumpers possibly and at the back. So it's not going to be simply just replacing the hardware 2 uh, FSD computer to the FSD 3 computer. It's going to be a lot more than that. And on top of all that, FSD beta is showing some significant progress here. And Elon is probably going to be like, hey, FSD is pretty much feature complete. It can drive in the city. So unlike the wild idea of a robo taxi that he mentioned, there is nothing on contract specifically. So with all that being said, guys, don't hold your breath on the RoboTaxi with Hardware 3. It doesn't mention anywhere in our contract that it's going to have the RoboTaxi feature. It doesn't even mention that it's going to be 100% level 5 full self-driving. All it mentions is that FSD full self-driving suite is going to be included, which includes what you have right now, which is in beta mode. So you are likely going to see the FSD beta uh, on your car. So all we can do really Really is just get ready to upgrade your car if you guys had it for a while and if you guys are planning to pick up your car now best you guys wait out because I think it's gonna be coming soon now Green D only mentioned that last time around in December of 2020 uh, and then February 
to April 2021 was when it got released after being announced. So it's gonna be a three month wait time. If you guys can wait that long, wait it out. If you guys can't, you're likely gonna have the old hardware, which is sort of a bummer when you buy a brand new car. So yeah, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are waiting for a car right now, if you're gonna be canceling it or delaying it for a little bit just to get hardware for, and possibly you're gonna be getting the best of everything. You get the Ryzen chip, you get the brand new new features, you get the heated wipers, you get everything, and then the hardware for on top of it. Icing on the cake pretty much. So uh, anyways guys, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please hit that subscribe button right up top there. This is John, once again, peace out.